The high court saying today the law relies on decades old data, which doesn't reflect significant changes across the country. Is the ruling a step in the right direction or a setback for voters? Watch Fox News reporter Cheyenne Malone talk with local leaders who share their view of what it all means for South Carolina, Cheyenne. Well, Darrell, the act was passed during the height of the civil rights movement, targeting states with histories of voter discrimination, South Carolina being one of them. Critics argue certain parts of the 1965 Voting Rights Act are antiquated and no longer necessary. Others disagree, calling it a major setback for South Carolina. The U.S. Supreme Court voting 5-4 to four Tuesday on a decision that shot down a key provision of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. It requires some states and localities to get federal approval before changing voting laws. A move Attorney General Alan Wilson says puts South Carolina on an even playing field. It's certainly going to change how we get laws um, basically passed. We no longer have to go ask Mother May I, the Justice Department. Um, we can go ahead and pass laws like uh, our brother and sister states do. Um, we can go out there and, and pass a law just like they do, implement that law at no cost to the taxpayer, which is a huge benefit to South Carolina. But House Representative James Smith disagrees. Smith thinks a move like this is a setback for certain races. He says keeping the provision would ensure equality at the ballot box. It makes for a more efficient process. It makes for a, a process that avoids litigation as much as possible, but also protects our right to access the ballot, for everyone to have equal access to the ballot. Wilson says the preclearance process cost South Carolina $3 million last year, a bill he says could have been avoided. If we had had the Supreme Court ruling this time last year, South Carolina would not have had to spend any money to go through the preclearance that we did on the voter ID law. I hope, uh, as the President said and, and many others have said uh, today, that the Congress will act swiftly, will take action to uh, restore this preclearance process in the Voting Rights Act. Watch Fox also talked with USC law professor Derek Black who says there is a cost to having a Voter Rights Act but there's also a cost to not having one. Live in the studio, Cheyenne Malone, Watch Fox News.